Dead Ringers is a project I made for Steve Turner Contemporary. It's about questioning the idea of an original in contemporary art. Uh, not in the sense of uh, the aura and etc. Like, like quoting Benjamin, no, but uh, more talking about the, the idea of uh, how, uh, how an object of art function in, in contemporary art uh, market. No? I was doing research for another project called Pinturas del Cine based on uh, Histoires du Cinema the, from Godard and um, I was like uh, collecting images from, um, of paintings that appear in movies no? so uh, when I was working on Vertigo I found out that uh, in the same scene there was um, a, a slight difference between two takes when um, Madeleine goes to the museum to see the portrait of Carlotta um, you first uh, see uh, an objective shot no? of Scotty looking at Madeleine and then you see the subjective which is uh, Madeleine sitting on a bench uh, looking at a painting we go back to Scotty and then we go back to Madeline. But in this time, you see a different painting and you see like a slightly different set, a slightly different Madeline even. So I started researching about this and then I found out that, uh, that at first uh, Hitchcock hired Vera Miles to play Madeline, no? And uh, they even they did this wardrobe and the painting test, no? And then also some shots with her and also the painting was made of her. The production delayed for a while and then she got pregnant and she couldn't continue with in the in the movie. So he hired Kim Novak to, to continue with the part, no? So he had to shoot like some scenes and this is one of those scenes. Like as a little wink he used uh, this shot in between the, the other shots. Not a meta comment probably about the whole story of the movie, no? The whole plot of Vertigo revolves around um, the idea of this uh, copy that is pretending to be the original pretending to be a copy so that's a very like complex or very interesting subject no but I, in which i'm very interested so, uh, so basically what i did is that i found um, a couple of twins and i asked them to paint uh, each one of them one of the shots you know the first one with the uh, better miles and the second one with kim nova like when you see the paintings you don't realize if if they're painting actually the same shot but in fact they're painting like the two different ones I learned how to to take like DNA tests so I asked for hair samples and blood samples and everything and I asked them to write like a letter like uh, stating that they were the ones who painted the, the paintings uh, the idea of truth and false no in, in, in contemporary art I could have claimed that two twins a couple of twins painted those paintings but I could have hired anyone with that, that was exhibited in a closed box that, that no one can open but the, the person who buys the, the painting. I use like two terms um, of magic to label the two boxes that accompany these two paintings. One is fake and one is gimmick. Gimmick is the object in magic that you use for the magic to work. But the gimmick shouldn't be seen. Like the fake finger that you put on top of your, fing your own finger and you, hi you hide something there. And fake is a term that you use. You use an object but that, that object must be seen by the audience for, for, in order for the trick to work. The second part of the project was I compiled all the, all the plots of movies made before and after uh, Vertigo which uh, if you take away the specificities you could co confuse them with Vertigo. I asked a friend of mine which is a specialist in literature and I asked him to rewrite all those plots like, like strip them from specificities no? and generally so he wrote them back again what I did is I, I hired people to paint those like in rotulos uh -huh. so uh, in a sense um, I, I pa they painted them and then I burned those paintings but before I burned them I, I took pictures of them and those are the ones I keep no? so that the other box I, I show the ashes of the paintings and also the slides which are projected during the show what I was working on this is I used the, the meta-narrative of, of the movie to talk about what we hide and what we show in contemporary art. So in a sense what I wanted to do is um, present to the audience 
material objects, no? But each one of them modifies the way we can understand the other object. And that's like the, the most important thing, no? Which, uh, which uh, I try to accomplish with this piece. And I guess that uh, through contemporary art, what we can do is um, ask questions about, uh, about the future that we cannot uh, think of, uh, uh, at least rationally, think of right now at the present. And through that, I think uh, it, it works as a time machine, probably, you know, like, like, we can, like we can move through time easily, the way we can give meaning to, to our lives, in a way, no? So that, I, th I think that's the, the, the beauty, or the, the, what is uh, important in contemporary art.